Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. What I told these parents to give their little three-year-old girl that saved her life. Check out all my books on audible.com. A couple of parents that I don't know very well, um, they live down in Tennessee. They had a little uh, three-year-old girl and um, she was very, very sick with a virus. And um, what was the virus? The doctors couldn't tell them what the virus was. Um, and it was a super virus and it came from overseas and that was their story. I don't know where they got that from. They, they've never been overseas, these two parents. Uh, the girl's never been overseas, the three-year-old. Um, what kind of a virus? Well, it was a super virus. So that's all they could tell her. This went on, it wasn't COVID, it wasn't anything having to do with that. So of course these days with medical insurance, um, you know, because when you go to the doctors, everything revolves around your insurance. What will this pay? Will that, will that pay? You know, you can be lying dead there. They're going to check the insurance to make sure that that's covered. Otherwise we need a credit card. This guy's got a business and he totally depletes his, um, his, all his money, all his bank accounts, trying to save this little three-year-old girl of his. And this goes on for months and months. I don't know the entire story. It doesn't really matter. But they don't know what to do. And anyway, I just kind of threw somebody else, kind of walked into the picture and said, you know what, here's what you got to do for your daughter. So what is it? Now she's got a super virus. That's according to the doctors. And the doctors know everything. So I said, look, you've tried everything else. Do what I tell you. Now this is a virus. And where do viruses live? Well, they can live in the digestive tract. Um, or they can live in the blood. And I remind people all the time, of course, there are on average around 30 trillion viruses in our body and 60 trillion bacteria in our body. And then there's 80 to 100 trillion cells in the you know, human cells. So we're the sea of bacteria and viruses. So one has got to this little girl and they don't know what to do. So I said, you know what? Here's what you do. Stop feeding her. Well, she doesn't have much of an appetite. Well, good. Just keep giving her water, water, water. A friend of mine brought some down, some because they didn't live far apart. Some alkaline ionized water, and then I said, when you when you she wakes up, when your stomach is clear, start giving her silver, liquid oxygen silver. So, you know, just take. You can't. What you want to do with silver is take about a teaspoon, hold it under your tongue. Well, a three year old isn't probably going to do that. You know, it might be different. So I said, just do it like one drop at a time. So she keeps doing it and doing it. Well, one one week later, she's doing much better. Her appetite is coming back. She's looked better. Her color has come back. She's moving around. Two weeks later, she's all but, I'm going to say, cured. You know, she's just running around. She looks good. It's just the old little girl. There she is. She's been just dying and dying. The, the doctors told her she, she's just going to die. We don't know what to do. So they're taking this little girl and leading her right into the grave. That's my opinion. And um, so just with a little bit of silver, we've gotten that far with her. And water. Now the other thing I told him to do, which is critical, was to wait a couple hours after he gave her the silver and have her keep drinking some water as much as you can give her and then start giving her some probiotics. So I gave her ProFermet. This is my best probiotic and I gave him that and so he was giving that, that along the way along with the silver kind of in between and again we're fortifying the immune system. I got him some silver and uh, they started doing this but it just shows you the power, the healing power of the human body so when you can get to that virus in the blood, it, they're almost always in the blood and that's how they kind of travel around. You got to do it in an empty stomach. Well she wasn't interested in eating so that was a good time but I said well you know you got to do it first thing in the morning if she starts eating again. Get up and keep Keep giving her that silver. We don't want this to come back. And in the meantime, she's going to build her immune system. She's going to create some antibodies to this virus, this super virus that they couldn't identify and it came from overseas. What a story. Well, you know, what a concoction. I mean, they, they really got to make that up. They had no evidence that it was what kind what was the name of this super virus. Never got that far from these doctors. So this guy depletes his savings. He's got nothing. <laughs> And I don't know what he's going to do about that, but he did get his little girl back because he listened to me, Dr. Bob. And all I did was tell him some very just basic fundamental advice about how you cure yourself of these infectious diseases. I'll remind you again that I had meningitis. And, um, you know, I, so I was on my deathbed practically. I didn't know what it was. I mean, I thought I'd been poisoned somehow. And then I traveled to China and it came back. I had a little bit of silver with me. I took it, knocked it out in a couple hours. So I wrote a book about it. Uh, silver, the miracle mineral, the end of infectious disease. And um, been used for thousands of years. Not like I invented this or I discovered it or anything. No, people just are brainwashed. They run to the doctors. They run to the authority when you get sick. What are the What are the authority? What's the authority? What does it look like? Well, it's somebody in a lab coat, somebody with a stethoscope around their neck. 
some stern person. Uh, let's go to the lab. Let me see your blood work. Well, you can tell a lot from blood work, but you know, if you can't, you know, you come in there with an infectious disease, you take a little silver, okay? And of course, they want you to get vaxxed and they want you to do all that stuff. That's your decision. You can do whatever you want. But for these, this young couple here, uh, you know, in their early, uh, late 20s, early 30s, something like that, I never met them. Um, they were able to save their little girl just within two weeks of what I suggested. And I feel fantastic about that. I didn't really do anything other than tell them. So I don't feel like I didn't cure anybody. Um, you know, we just use the things in nature, if anything. I mean, he prayed and prayed. It was really just, he says, we got to have something. Him and his wife got down and on their knees. Uh, not super religious people, but they just prayed for this little girl. They don't want to lose her. They've spent, the guy just depleted every, he's lost his business, everything, to pay the medical guys. They get paid no matter what, whether the results are good, the results are bad, they always get paid. Business bad? F you, pay me. Oh, you had a fire? you pay me place got hit by lightning huh you pay me I say well if you do what I tell you to do my what I tell you to do works hundred percent of the time people just don't always do it or they do part of it or whatever and then they might be the complain when it gets down to the end I said did you really do this and this and this and unless they're gonna lie to my face which they don't then they, they didn't do that but this guy did and he was able to save it and to save this young little girl here and uh, I just think it's fantastic because that's what I do and it's not a plug for me it's a plug for what I tell people to do Dr. Bob I'll see you next time hey folks check out all my books on amazon.com uh, I've written seven books now uh, but this one's on audible silver the miracle mineral end of infectious disease uh, the cure in the mirror nature's protocol for surviving cancer that's on audible and then my most popular book I have sold tens of thousands of these books through the years never promoted it never marketed it it is the miraculous properties of ionized water the definitive guide to the world's healthiest substance third edition I revamped the whole thing it's on audible too so those are all read by the author's voice my voice and I hope you like them business bad F you pay me oh you had a fire F you pay me place got hit by lightning huh F you pay me